See, I'm very concerned about system being used to control the masses. But in that case, the developers know about the kind of control that's happening. You're more concerned about the next stage where even the developers don't know about the deception. Right. I don't think developers know everything about what they are creating. They have lots of great knowledge. We're making progress on explaining parts of a network. We can understand, okay, this node get excited, then this uh, input is presented, this cluster of nodes, but we're nowhere near close to understanding the full picture, and I think it's impossible. You need to be able to survey an explanation. The size of those models prevents a single human from absorbing all this information, even if provided by the system. So either we're getting model as an explanation for what's happening, and that's not comprehensible to us, or we're getting a compressed explanation, lossy compression, where here's top 10 reasons you got fired. It's something, but it's not a full picture. You've given elsewhere an example of, of a child and everybody, all, all humans try to deceive, they try to lie early on in their life. I think we'll just get a lot of examples of deceptions from large language models or AI systems. They're going to be kind of shitty or they'll be pretty good, but we'll catch them off guard. We'll start to see the kind of momentum towards uh, developing increasing deception capabilities. And that's when you're like, okay, we need to do some kind of alignment that prevents deception. But then we'll have, if, you support open source, then you can have open source models that have some level of deception. You can start to explore on a large scale. How do we stop it from being deceptive? Then there's a more explicit, pragmatic kind of uh, problem to solve. How do we stop AI systems from uh, trying to optimize for deception? That's just an example, right? So there is a paper, I think it came out last week by Dr. Park et al from MIT, I think, and they showed that existing models already showed successful deception in what they do. Uh, my concern is not that they lie now and we need to catch them and tell them don't lie. My concern is that once they are capable and deployed, they will later change their mind because that's what unrestricted learning allows you to do. Lots of people grow up maybe in a religious family they read some new books and they turn in their religion. That's a treacherous turn in humans. If you learn something new about your colleagues, maybe you'll change how you react to them. Yeah, the treacherous turn. Um, if we just mention humans, Stalin and Hitler, there's a turn. Stalin's a good example. He just seems like a normal communist follower of Lenin until there's a turn. As a turn of what that means in terms of uh, when he has complete control, what that what the execution of that policy means and how many people get to suffer. And you can't say they are not rational. The rational decision changes based on your position. Then you are under the boss. The rational policy may be to be following orders and being honest. When you become a boss, rational policy may shift. Yeah, and, and by the way, a lot of my disagreements here is just to... Uh, playing devil's advocate to challenge your ideas and to explore them together. So um, one of the big problems here in this whole conversation is human civilization hangs in the balance and yet it's everything is unpredictable. We don't know how these systems will look like. The robots are coming. There's a refrigerator making a buzzing noise. Very menacing, very menacing. So every time I'm about to talk about this topic, things start to happen. My flight yesterday was canceled without possibility to rebook. Yeah. I was giving a talk uh, at Google in uh, Israel, and uh, three cars which were supposed to take me to the talk could not. I'm just saying. I mean, <laughs> it... I like AIs. I, for one, welcome <laughs> our yeah. overlords. But there's a degree to which we, I mean, it is very obvious as we already have, we've increasingly given our life over to software systems. And then it seems obvious, given the capabilities of AI that are coming, that we'll give our lives over increasingly to AI systems. Cars will drive themselves, refrigerator eventually will optimize 
uh, what I get to eat. And as more and more of our lives are controlled or managed by AI assistance, it is very possible that there's a drift. I mean, I mean, I personally am concerned about non-existential stuff, the more near-term things. Because before we even get to existential, I feel like there could be just so many brave new world type of situations. You mentioned sort of the, the term behavioral drift. It's the slow boiling that I'm really concerned about as we give our lives over to automation, that our minds can become controlled by governments, by companies, or just in a distributed way, there's a drift. S some aspect of our human nature gives ourselves over to the control of AI systems, and they, in an unintended way, just control how we think. Maybe there'll be a herd-like mentality in how we think, which will kill all creativity and exploration of ideas, the diversity of ideas, or, 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 or much worse. So it's true, it's true. 